Welcome to Zoho Inventory, an online cloud-based application that helps you manage your orders, track inventory for items, create warehouses to manage your stock. We also support multi-channel sales to simplify your sales operations and a lot more. In this video, we'll see how you can sign up for Zoho Inventory, set up your organization and get started with inventory management. To get started, go to www.zoho.com slash inventory, click the sign up now button. Here, choose the business location, enter your company name, email address and create a password for your organization. Click here to agree to the terms and privacy policy. Now click create account, enter your organization name. Select the business location, select the province you are in and enter your business address. You can select the currency here and choose the desired language here. Select the time zone from the drop down. You can configure your tax settings later in the settings module. Now click get started. You'll get a verification email in your registered email address from where you can confirm your account. After signing up, you'll be logged into the Getting Started page, which will help you navigate through Zoho Inventory easily. On the left sidebar, you have the dashboard, which will give you a glimpse of your company's sales and stock summary. Under the inventory module, you can view your items, item groups, inventory adjustments, and much more. In the sales module, you can add all your customers, you can create invoices and send them, and also create sales orders for the items that you sell. The packages module allows you to create and assign package slip numbers to the items in your sales orders and keep track of your consignments when they are shipped. You can ship your packed goods to your customers, track your shipments and manage your deliveries from here. You can create invoices for your customers and once you receive payments, you can track them under payments received. When customers return the product due to any damage or other unforeseen reasons, we can use sales return. If you have any additional credits from your customers, you can store them in the form of credit notes. Next, you have the purchases section where you can add all the vendors from whom you purchase your items. You can record your expenses here. You can create and keep track of all your purchase orders and bills. You can also track all the payments made to your vendors through payments made. You can track any credits from your vendors through vendor credits. The integration module allows you to integrate with shipping service providers, payment gateways and many other applications giving you better reach to customers and new markets. The reports module consists of business and other reports, broadly classified under sales, inventory and various other categories. Using these reports, you can get real-time insights needed to optimize your business. For any report, you can choose to schedule it, share it securely with your team and also export it in various file formats to your system. In the documents module, you can store all your documents in one place and auto scan data from the uploaded documents to create new transactions instantly. Now let's go to settings where you can view additional preferences for your organization. From here, you can configure your organization profile, users and roles, warehouses, taxes, templates, emails and much more. We also have a wide range of templates in multiple languages. You can configure various integrations, explore the automation feature and do a lot more. Now that you have a basic overview of Zoho Inventory, Let's look at a few basic steps to quickly set up your organization. Click the settings icon and go to organization profile. You can upload your company logo here. And you can select the industry you're in. 
You can edit the company address here and if you have a separate address for receiving payments, you can mark this box and enter the same here. You can choose to configure the email preferences for the primary contact of your organization here. You can also choose to configure the base currency, fiscal year, language and other settings. After this is done, click save. Next, let's configure your tax settings. Go to settings and click taxes. Enter the tax name and the tax rate and percentage here. Check this box. If the tax type you entered is a compound tax, then click save. You can group the taxes into tax groups as well. Click here, select the tax rate you wish to group together and click save. In case you wish to track the sales of digital services to overseas customer, enable this box and enter the EORI number. Items are the goods and services in your organization. If you already have a list of items, you can import them from here. You would need to follow the file format and can also download a sample file for your reference. To add items manually, click the plus icon next to items or the plus new item button. Then choose the item type, enter the item name, unit. You can enter the 12 digit universal product code associated with the barcode here. If applicable, you can record other product codes associated with the item in EAN, MPN and ISBN fields. Enter the cost and selling price and select the respective accounts to track sales and purchases for this item. You can also enter the tax value applicable during the sales and purchases of an item here. You can choose to track inventory for this item by clicking here and choose the corresponding inventory account, opening stock and opening stock rate per unit. Here, you can set the stock of your item so that you can get notified when your item stock is low and you can reorder stocks accordingly. When items go low in stock, you can choose the vendor from whom you need to order. Now you can save it. Now it's time to add your customers. If you already have a list of customers, you can input them by clicking here. You can also choose to add them manually. To do so, click the plus icon next to customers or the plus new customer button here. Choose the customer type, whether a business or an individual. Enter the name of the customer and the company name. Choose the display name and enter the contact information such as their email, phone number and website if any. In the other details section, you can choose the tax rate you wish to associate with the customer. Next, you can choose your currency, choose your payment terms and enter their social profiles. You can also choose to enable the client portal for them from where they can view their invoices, make payments and keep track of all their transactions. Click here to add their billing and shipping addresses. You can add their contact persons and other necessary details. Then click save. Similarly, you can create vendors from the purchases module. Now that you've set up your organization, added your items, customers and vendors, let's see how to create your first invoice. Click the plus icon next to invoices. Select the customer name. The invoice number will be auto-generated. You can also choose to enter it manually by clicking the gear icon.
Enter other details such as the invoice date, terms of payments and due date. Next, add the items for this invoice and select the appropriate tax rate. Add the customer note and terms and conditions of your business. Configure and select the payment gateway to receive payments faster. Then save the invoice. You've successfully created your first invoice. Similarly, you can record bill and other transactions. In Zoho Inventory, you can set up automatic reminders to be sent to you as well as your customers to ensure you never miss a due date. Go to the Settings module, click Reminders and go to Automated Reminders, Invoice section. Click the plus new reminder button. Choose the from email address, enter a name for the reminder. Choose whom to remind, whether you or your customer or both and then choose how many days before or after which you need to send this reminder. You can also edit the subject and the email content based on your requirement. Then click save. Now you have successfully set up a reminder. You can similarly create reminders for the bills to be paid as well. The automation module allows you to create a set of rules for modules of Zoho Inventory based on which appropriate actions can be performed. In this module, you can create workflow rules to trigger email alerts, in-app notifications, field updates, webhooks, custom functions, and workflow logs. Now you can integrate with any of the online payment gateways like Stripe, PayPal, to check out and receive payments seamlessly from your customers. Now let's get back to the dashboard. The dashboard gives you an overview of your transactions. Once you start creating transactions, you can view different business metrics for your business, such as your sales activities, inventory summary, top selling items, product details, sales order summary, and much more. You can also view all the recent updates in Zoho Inventory by clicking here. If you use multiple Zoho Inventory organizations, you can click here and switch to any of them. You can also access your Zoho account from here. With this, we hope you've got a good overview of Zoho Inventory. In the description below, we've added a link to access a 14-day trial where you can access all our features for free during the trial period. After the trial gets over, you can choose to subscribe to our free plan or any of our paid plans. You can also check out the pricing page link given in the description below. If you have any queries, do reach out to us at support at the rate That's it for now, folks. Have a great day. Thank you.